Hold on, hold on. Are we recording? I'm going to jump off that tripod. Yeah, I'll get that later, but we'll do this now. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Okay. This, this one was called Composition for Law and Order. And it was really a takeoff of the 68 convention. In, in and so, so what did you reconstruct out of this? Like, where did you get the, uh, what materials did you find? This, in? Is, this is all paper, cardstock, yeah. cut out and laid on top of other pieces of cardstock. So it's a piling of that, yeah. creating the shapes. And then the background, of course, it's all cut out, but it was all done on a piece of masonite and then cut out. But this is using uh, silk organza on the surface to get a really good dark black. Yeah, and so you soak that with glue to... Uh, to yeah, yeah, just put the organza down over the whole sheet and then laid this over everything. Yeah. All the organza and then, of course, the areas that are open will print black. Yep. So that was the first image from that. This one is called Composition for Military Science. And that, of course, had to do with Vietnam. All the study anti rotsi on the university campuses, that kind of thing back in 68, 69. Yep. So, these two prints are not quite finished, but it's games people play to become part of society. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's just put together a sack race or old duffers, but um, you can see the materials are pretty much standard collagraph materials, yeah. but layered so that you get a, some different sensibilities in there. But this basically is paper. I started using paper and cardstock because they're so easy to wipe, and I still got the linear qualities were necessary. So this is going to have a sky that blends down and then a ground that goes up that'll be transparent. So these will be additioned? Yeah, yeah I only did six. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to do. Um, in graduate school, I did one or two of each one of these, but I never really did addition much. This is the same kind of sensibility. It's just a couple goofy people in a dance of some kind mm -hmm. in their costumes. Yep. It predated road, road wires, though. <laughs> and these are blockouts for uh, the background printing, so they're little print behind it and not over it. This is the first time that I realized that I didn't have enough work done and I grabbed all the scraps from doing a very subjective print of an old car and uh, using the scraps or the negative pieces I started putting them together in a composition and it ended up being one of the nicer freer prints I did I think and uh, certainly is no social statement, really. So that's silk organza for the background again? Yes, yeah. right. Still collagraph. No, I... Yeah, and this is on a manila paper. And... Uh, so it'll be like another white Re paper. BFK Reeves buff? Uh, this is Somerset. Somerset, right. And I think all these are on Somerset. Right. Now this one was my kind of anti-American uh, advertising in a way, uh, but it's called America's Mother Nature, and this being the landscape and the sky. Um, but 
I look at this as America's mother nature as opposed to a European mother nature, which in my mind would be a more matronly, kindly kind of figure. Mm -hmm. Nars has to be sexy, so. <laughs> so is that uh, woodblock or is that uh, this paper cut? This is polygraph. Cut These are all individual pieces, so it's like a puzzle. Yeah. Then it's rolled up, you know, with the blended roll. Yeah. Each piece and then put back together and then printed. But that's paper? Uh, this is paper. But I mean, this would this have been. This is just masonite. Okay, so it's masonite is the substrate. Right. And I have the plates if you. Want to see them? This is uh, an anti war statement. This is called uh, The Effects of War. Mm -hmm. And having never participated in it myself, I just wanted to make it kind of ghastly looking as I would read about the Vietnam War and what they were ordering our troops to do, like Hamburger Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, cost 5,000 lives and they kept the mountain for three days to prove that they could take a mountain. Yeah. Or a hilltop. This one is uh, called Wonderland and it's also I uh, used embossing. I hope you can see yeah. that. Uh, yep. And it's done the same way the other one was done. Uh, individual pieces and then rolled up. So what are the dates for these roughly? 69 and 70. 69 and 70. Now, and you the did clouds them? are interesting because yeah. I was working desperately on trying to find a solution to this print and a kid who ran track walked through the art department and he said, you ought to change those rainbow clouds to just pink clouds. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, and it was the answer. So clouds were big back in '69. Right. Now so, they'd be a different color. <laughs> yeah, they'd be di uh, digital. Uh, yeah. So this was all done in Monta Montana, right? Yeah. University of Montana grad school. Yes. Yeah. Now this is my love and hate relationship with those beautiful girls. This is uh, here she comes, Miss America. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, made this plate basically working on this part of it, but then cutting everything from this part on another part like this, and then realizing I could use them as a composition together. Right. And this is still Colligraph. Yes. Right. Yeah, at University of Montana, we learned collagen. <laughs> Unless we taught ourselves something different. This one was in a national competition and won. It was in Young Printmakers, 1970. And uh, it's called The Peacemaker. Mm -hmm. And that won a national award. And then the final one. Oh, that's a really nice one. Not that the others weren't, but is this off? Um, is this based off like a another composition? I, th I, I guess that I look at that. I think Heim Soutine and and Rembrandt and all that kind of thing. Well, those are complimentary <coughs> people, but I I was just a figurative artist, and this was all about race. Mm -hmm. It was in one exhibition in in Bozeman, Montana. And there was a woman from North Carolina that was at the exhibition. And she said, that's really a nice print. Uh -huh. But I've seen too much of that in my life. <laughs> and the, ostensibly, it's the Ku Klux Klan with their crown, yes. all in white, and then the black and eagle's bowl, which obviously signifies the black. But it hasn't changed a lot. Yeah. 50 years. So those are the ones that... And these are to go to the... They're going to the Montana Museum of Art and Culture. To support... And supporting materials for... For 
a painting I did called The Dodge Girl. Right. Which was uh, taking the clothes off of a spokeswoman for the Dodge Coronet in 67, 68, which could be found on YouTube. Oh. Her name was Joan Parker. Joan Parker. A little pixie from upstate New York who was so cute. And all the boys who bought that Dodge Coronet thought they were going to get Joan with it. <laughs> I wanted to show them Not what they happen. were really getting. Okay, I'll find so it later. So I undressed her and showed them what Chrysler built for them. Right. The other print that's going is, and I haven't done anything with it, is Miss Liberty. Mm -hmm. Is that a Picasso face? It is. Right. That was my first appropriation. There we go. Ahead of your time. Yeah. But going through them, you can see that nothing's changed. <laughs>